something to all right cool so i'm coming to y'all live and direct in my pajamas with my hair all crazy because i just have to make a video i haven't made a video in a long time um on youtube and i wanted to kind of talk to you guys about the season three premiere of what's the biz um, we'll be posting that tomorrow, sometime shortly though. But so if you didn't know, we started the season three of What's the Biz and we kicked it off with a live episode today. It was very, it was interesting. I'm very excited for you guys to see it if you haven't saw it, but it's just something I've never done before. And so I'm just more like, if you know me, you know, I'm hard on myself, very hard. And I'm like, ah, I could have did this so much better. But at the end of the day, I feel like the message came across and the, the people that like called to talk to me about the episode, like the things that they said, um, kind of connected with the message that I wanted to get across. Um, so let's see, some things that I kind of learned from hosting this live episode was to always have a plan B. Always make sure that you have a plan B. I know a lot of like successful people are like, no, plan A is the plan. And I think in most instances, like if, unless you're like plan B sucks if you're settling for plan B, but if plan B is preparation, plan B is great. <laughs> Um, had I not had a plan B, I probably would be, well, uh, it's not that I had a plan B. It's more so like, um, I don't know. I was just, I don't know. Just, I guess don't. So have a plan B, but also make sure that you're always prepared. Like I didn't have a plan B to the first. Okay. Now I'm rambling. Does that make sense? Anyways. So yeah. The initial episode of What's the Biz was supposed to look completely different than it did today. So the live that we had today was very intentional. Um, I think my first idea was more so like, ah, this is so cute. Let's be cute. Oh my gosh, this is cute. I love this business. Let's be cute. Um, and it wasn't intentional. And um, I just wanted to celebrate um, the previous business, which I'm sure she probably wouldn't mind if I said who it was, but I just um, am just really also trying to be respectful because I don't, you know. But anyways, so after like a lot of like just space and time to think, I think I was just like, I don't think that my uh, purpose is to be cute. What was the biz like? If I want to be cute personally, that's what I can do. But what's the business supposed to be here to be intentional? And so that was my purpose. And um, I was like, okay, how can I be intentional? And I started thinking about the spaces that we could have our live episode. And so a barbershop came to mind. And honestly, I feel like God was really leading me through all of this thought process. And so I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, but anyways, it was about being intentional. We had the show at a barbershop. Barbershops are like the the heart of black businesses, of black culture. Barbershops are the reality of black Twitter, but more so for like men and women. But that's where it goes down. That's the original black Twitter. Um, and so I was like, okay, it will feel good to have it at the barbershop. So I had it at the top of the line barbershop. Shout out to Top of the Line for hosting us and having us. Um, and then, I don't know, you have to watch it. Okay, so anyways, my first my first um, piece of advice is definitely to like be able to have a backup plan or land on your feet if something doesn't go right. Um, my second piece of advice is just to kind of like really believe in yourself. I really didn't think I could pull off a live episode at any capacity. I was just like, I've never put together a, an event like this. I, I don't know how to use 
I don't know how to do a live. And slowly but surely, all of the pieces started coming together. So one day I was on Facebook and I saw another man going live, Dr. Bailey, shout out. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I wonder how he's doing this. Everything, everything looks so clean. And come to find out, the man that was like recording his um, episodes, I knew him. I had met him. And so I reached out to him. Uh, shout out to Black Sage Productions. <laughs> and um, and I was like, can you do this? This is what I want to do. He's like, of course, I could do that. Um, we'll definitely have to talk about a price. And I was like, dang, this man is about to cost $1,000. And uh, he was definitely very affordable. So that was great. Um, my friend Deontay, I had just, we have recently like really connected uh, this summer during COVID, I feel like maybe a little bit before, but it was just nice to see him transition and just him grow and all of this and seeing him go from, hopefully he doesn't mind if I say this, but he said it in the show, seeing him go from two jobs, to no jobs to just all these life transitions and really declare who he was. I just wanted to be a part of that. And I felt like What's the Biz was a great platform for him to kind of introduce himself to the people because, like I said, De Deontay and I have known each other since since middle school. And um, I'm pretty sure everybody has their perspective on who they think he is. But anyways, so it was just nice to help someone, in, like not help, but support someone in their journey like I've been supported. Wow, I've been talking for seven minutes and I don't think I said shit. Okay, so <laughs> I guess the whole purpose of this video is to really talk about what I've learned with this episode and kind of my experience. So one thing that I've experienced with Deontay is just being a part of his growth and providing a platform where he can share that growth with the world, which has been done for me in multiple occasions. Um, and then the third thing was Brianna, Quiet Storm. Her poem just really kind of brought the past and the present and the future into one poem about how like black people thrive and how we can continue to thrive if we invest in each other and really lean on and stand on the history of black excellence, specifically black Daytonians, such as funk musicians. Shout out to Zap. Is that funk? Um, Roger. The Ohio players, you know, all of those great people. Um, so, yeah, I think today, man, it was just exhausting. What I also learned is just, like, I need to make sure I'm, like, taking time to focus. Because when I'm not focused, things are very much, are much worse, like, harder to navigate. Um, so, like, this summer was great. I was focused. I was just doing my thing. And yeah, so <laughs> I just learned I need to be focused and so that I can, you know, give 100% to my show and to life in general. Um, but yeah, if you tuned in to the live premiere, dang, man, I want to say something juicy. Like, I feel like all of that was cool, but... What did I really learn? I don't want to sugarcoat this. Like, what did I really learn with throwing this season? I should have wrote all of this down. The biggest thing for me is, yeah, to trust in myself. So that's what I'm going to say. Make sure you trust in yourself. Even when it comes to doing things that you're uncomfortable with, um, I just feel like a live episode for the season premiere of season three was necessary and it was important no matter how uncomfortable it was for me a lot of people think that i am exaggerating when i say that i am shy or anything of that nature but i really hate live stuff but i know i gotta get over that so this was the first step so anyways i know y'all hear my son <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching What's the Biz. And stay tuned for season three because it's going to be lit. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>